Hello, fellow Battletech enthusiasts. We're going to talk about priming. Specifically, I've got um, an advanced priming technique for you called pre-shading. And it involves spraying primer at various angles to simulate sunlight on a building. That is, when you paint it properly, you should be using thinned paints so some of the primer underlayer comes through. So this is something you need to kind of do outdoors, and I've got a cardboard box here, um, and I've um, just found it convenient to just place the targets, which could be mechs or buildings or foreground or whatever you want, um, or vehicles, and then I'm going to now get my favorite primer paints. Uh, one of them is a combo paint and primer black. And this is just somehow just not doing very well. It's, uh, so this is one of the weaknesses of spray paints is that they tend to gum up after a while. So I'm kind of struggling a little bit to clean the nozzle. So I'm kind of rubbing it against the cardboard box in the back. And I finally started start getting it to come out. And so here, I'm going to start spraying it in a moment. Okay, now I'm trying to get it to come out. But it's kind of spattering a little bit, so I have to keep going at it. This is really not ideal, so you wouldn't want to risk this on a mech if your spray can is spattering like this. But since this is these are just some low-resolution buildings, um, some foreground, I'm kind of risking continuing to paint, even though my primer can is kind of sputtering a little bit. So you have to make sure you get the whole building, it's every aspect of your target blackened because you're, you're trying to just make it black. Um, ideally, you could spray from an underneath angles as well so that you can get uh, the things that are covered up by overhangs, get them from under, underside too. Um, but these are fairly simple buildings and I'm not as worried about uh, complex uh, overhangs blocking things from spraying. So I'm just going to paint them like this. These have nice complex three-dimensional shapes, so they're good for a city fight for a mech a battle tech tabletop. And this is, you don't want to just spray everything. You, you want to just spray it so there's items which are under overhangs will um, be still remain black on the undersides perhaps and have some gray at this upper shade angle here. And this helps produce the effect that you want. And then now the last stage of pre-shading is your white primer. And I'm just again just using some Home Depot primers. These are perfectly fine as long as they're not old like these are. That's why these are kind of, I'm not risking it on mechs, I'm just doing this on buildings. And now you just spray straight down only on the building. So you can see here I'm kind of spraying straight down. And that's it. You have now learned the secrets of pre-shading. Uh, and uh, wait till you actually see what these things look like. I, I have to like let them dry now, but um, now I'm going to orbit a little bit here. You can see here, remember you'll be painting on top of this. So this will produce a partly lit effect on a partially translucent paint. Okay, next I'm now going to um, paint uh, just a brush primer. This is a pretty simple, basic thing. This is a standard paint, or standard primer. First, I'm gonna show you how to regenerate your primers. This one is a, um, you'll, this one, I will take out some. I've noticed that it's coming out a little thin. When it comes out thin, that actually means it has settled and it needs to be regenerated. So I will, I'll have some bamboo skewers around and then I will uh, mix them up and usually add a little bit of water too. So you'll see this later on if you, if you see this, but since this is a priming video, I'm going to just show this part here anyway. And you'll notice that I'm not really very careful about where I paint. I'm just painting everything everywhere on it. And that's pretty much it. Now this is a continuation of that same mech when finishing it off. So you can see the finished product. I've done some basing work on it. I've painted it with uh, royal purple and 
glory red and magic blue for accents. And so here I'm sort of touching up the accents, uh, which will then later on be, uh, I will fix the lines that I have blurred a little bit with another run of royal purple later. But that's kind of the uh, final product. Also, I've painted the cockpit with a special metallic orange color called Multipass. This here is an Atlas, same thing. It's very, I've thinned my, my primer and I notice that you can see the metal under it. It's uh, because you're not supposed to put a thick, heavy coat of primer down unless you're trying to get a specific color effect like, like with the pre-shading. So your primer should be light and you should be able to see through it and see the bare metal underneath. Um, and it should be like partly translucent. If your primer is solid colored, it means you made it too thick. And you'll often see eBay MX be, if they're pre-primed, they'll be primed very heavily because they're not really being primed. They're being painted to cover defects or um, fake mechs and uh, like recasts. So if you see a heavily primed mech, try to stay away from it. Here's the finished product after it's been painted with a desert camouflage. You can see here I'm now going to do a final wash on it. Um, and this one is done in my Davian Atlas video. So you can see this one too. And here I'm just doing my final wash on it. And then this will dry and it'll be ready to go on the tabletop. Anyway, here it is, it's done. Uh, then the last one is gonna be a Zeus. You can see this one. It's going to be the same thing. Just a little bit of um, primer. I will add about an equal volume of water. And if you want to see the rest of this one, this one is done in my Zeus Steiner video um, where I go through the entire paint job. And now I'm going to fast forward to the final results. Here you can see just before the, the final null oil wash, you can see that the, the blue and white pattern, this is what I chose for it. Now I'm going to make it look dusty and smoke damaged. So I want it to look like it's been in action. So it's, I'm putting some null oil everywhere on it. And this will give it this kind of dusty used look, which I like. And so that'll be the, the final job after this one. And you can see the, uh, the priming was the same as the other ones. It's a very light primer. You can see through the metal and then the main paint is on top of that. It's just for the paint to adhere to. It's not actually to give the mech any color. So it doesn't matter what you prime. Now here I'm just going to prime this, this hatchet man. And you can see I'm just priming the same as the other ones. This one will eventually become a Davian Hatchet Man, yeah, but uh, right now it's just a desert tan primer, which is just co coincidentally will also be a desert camo on top of that, but it doesn't need to be. It could be any color as per the other mechs that I painted, which have totally different color schemes than the tan primer that I used. And now I'm going to quickly show you here. This is yet another brush priming on. This one is a hoplite. The hoplite is a special mech used by Wolf's Dragoons. And here I'm doing it one-handed because I don't have my gimbal. And here's a uh, demolisher also. I'm going to also paint them. You'll just see their final end result later on. So that's the only reason I'm showing them here. Since it's all the same, it's just thin your, thin your primer and then paint and you will see the end result later. Okay, here you can see the end results. You can see through the primer. You can still see the base metal. That's ideal, and I've also based them. Here are some final end products for Liao and some Gray Death Legion. Um, these are all primed with the same gray tan primer. That's it. If you enjoyed this video, please go hit the subscribe button at the, uh, and that way I'll be motivated to make even more videos.